Hello everybody, welcome back to Sarah Plays Gorok in Immortal Empires. I apologize for looking gross, I just finished my run, but that means I'm in a super good mood. So, let's get to work on some of this stuff. Now, I know I've read your comments about how I need to fight more battles manually, so I'm going to try, but I can't promise that I won't always chicken out because I probably will chicken out sometimes. But I'll, I'll try. Not to chicken out. So, we'll see. But I got a little ways to go before I can get back to where Kairos is. So... What else I got going on here? I got uh, Hydroxy and Thraparins over here. So I want to do what I was originally going... Ooh, let's get this first. Let's get this treasure first. Let's do campaign, because we're campaigning around... So here is um, Nakai's dude, his uh, vassal or whatever it's called. So maybe we can start to diplomatize with Nakai a little bit. And this guy, he was just sitting here. I don't really want to put too much more into his army. could get some of these other units that I probably won't play with ever. But then I don't want him to just sit here. I guess he could start... Oh, that's right. I was going to go north, but Mazda Mundi's being a pain in my behind. I could just sail up north, I guess. Because otherwise, he's just wasting money sitting here. Okay. I will... Put some more stuff in here. I probably don't need any more stegodons. Or I could do one more stegodon. The salamander would be cool. Or razor don. I like the razor don. But I've already got salamander hunting packs. So. Let's do two more temple guard. Two more stegodons. And then I can do one more. So I've got a Saurus here. I can do another Skink Oracle, Skink Priest, Saurus. Let's do another Saurus hero. And then that army, I might sail up and around unless I can get a military access pack with. Uh, Mazda Mundi. I can't even get non-aggression packed with him. I don't understand what his deal is. I really want to confederate with these guys. Oh, they're at war with Mazda Mundi. Oh, shoot. And I just did a military alliance with him. Poop. I messed up. Uh, well, you know, maybe I'm going to have to send Gorok back up to fight Mazda Mundi. That's what I was afraid of. Well, this army may just have to go up against Mazda Mundi then, if they can. He's level 33, though. He's going to put the smack down on me. That is not going to be fun. So maybe I need to build up more armies <laughs> these other places. Uh, the other thing that's going to stink, though, is if Mazda Mundi takes Jelan Huapek, I'm not going to be able to confederate with this guy. Oh, it's so annoying. Hmm. So these guys I must have disbanded. Or did they die? Arrogant or cunning. See, I like the Saurus heroes the best. That's my own opinion. I'm not a big fan of Croxagors. The Skink Chiefs, I just don't know. Can the Skink Chiefs get a mount eventually? 
Do they eventually get like a flying mount? I don't know. I'm gonna go with the Saurus. And Razor Dawn. Razor Dawn is worse than Salamander. I'm gonna get a Salamander. Okay. This is really gonna hit my uh, income hard, so. Maybe I should. I feel like I take Hydroxyanthraparin over to that other continent and then I immediately have to bring him back because stuff's happening on the home front, but I'm hoping that it'll get. It'll be okay. We'll see. Mazda Mundi shouldn't go to war with me. If he does, he's stupid. But I guess maybe he is stupid, so we'll see. I really want to confederate him. I think I can. You want me to go to war with Mazda Mundi? You do. No, not for 900. Just confederate with me, dude. You are being Defend. such a turd. Hexawaddle is so close. So close. I don't know what I can do to put him over the edge. Probably nothing. Oh, how did I find Tic Tac Toe? Surprising. Well, Gorok is going to make his way over here. Looks like Tehenowin's going after Fate Weaver's crevice, crevasse. All right, one more turn here. Let's put the hero in here. I'm going to just have this guy sit here for now with this one unit because as soon as these guys all hit, my income is going to tank. So uh, this army is going to have to hold down the fort for now. This will give me some income. Are there any others that will give me income? This one's already got income. Uh, this... I just don't have any skink units, but I don't really need to put skink units here. This will give me income from all buildings in the province. That'll maybe help a little bit. What was the other option? Oh, there was no option. Okay. More Kavita Kazandora. Kazandra. Alright, Hydroxyanthraparin. No, I don't want just the hero. I want you. Sail away. Come sail away. Alright, this is, I believe, the end of the world, so we'll start going up the coast. See what Lokir and or Snitch and or Cathay is doing up there? I already checked this. I don't know I'm checking again because it's a habit. Alright, so let's see here. Axiatl has a full army again, but I feel like if I leave him to his own devices, he's just going to get wiped out again. I don't know where he's going. He's going somewhere. I guess with Axiatl, you never know, because he can just blip around the map, so who knows. Use the wisdom of the old ones, or do nothing. We'll do nothing. All right, let's go one more round or one more turn taking attrition. I do have these rights. What is this? So I don't have enough money for this, but local barrier for source and temple guard. That's good for five turns. The 15 turn cooldown. I don't want to spend my money on that. I, I was hoping there was something that would help my attrition not be so bad but all right i'm going to move this army over to be by jelan huapek because i don't want them to lose it without confederating me first all 
And you just hang out there. This is growth. What else? What else can I spend my money on that's better? All armies? Yeah, upkeep for them. Yeah, that's good. Oh, man. Don't they understand life would be so much better if you just confederate me? Let's see what Mazda Modi does. Is he gonna go after... Alright, I guess I won't see what Mazda Mundi is doing because I I forgot to do anything with Hydroxy and Thraparin. That's annoying. I hate when I do that. Oh, it's so annoying. And now I just get to sit and watch them do nothing. All right, employ the ritual. Do nothing. Yeah, let's leave the ritual alone. We don't want to upset the old ones. All right, so both of those things helped my, uh, the, uh-oh, low here. The, uh, Upkeep for Stegodons helped, and I don't know if that income building... Surely that one didn't po didn't finish, but maybe another one did. This one... We'll go with that. Sequence of creature bonding. Recruit rank for Stegodon. Stegodon... Okay, so there's that. Income from industry. That would be helpful. Determining the Great Plan Control. Word Recruit Rank. 17 turns. Yikes. We'll go with the Stegodons. Alright. Let's come up here and... Just hang out next to... You. And in the meantime, why don't you confederate with me? You have one territory left. Although I bet it's not going to let me, it's not going to let me help in the battle because I'm not at war with Mazda Mundi, which is going to be annoying. And then I'm going to lose out on the ability to have that full province. Super annoying. So, Oxyadl's going the long way to get wherever he's going. But meanwhile, Gorak's gonna take the Demon's Gate. Demon's Gate. Close victory. You know what? I haven't fought a siege battle in a while, so let's try it. I feel like if I'm going to do well with anybody in a siege, it's going to be with Gorok and Croc. I think. I did pretty good in sieges with Aranessa. And Jason taught me the siege cheese with Gorok, where you like pull your army back as far as possible and you just send in Gorok. You put Croc as close to the walls as you can so he can't get hit by the, the stuff the artillery or whatever and then Gorok just goes in and tanks while Gorok just spams Deliverance of Isa. Although this was in Mortal Empire so I don't know if it's changed. Sieges in general are just kind of bad. Gatehouse controlled by Zinch. Well let's go in this side. Okay, 
So we'll have these guys just spread them out a little bit. Put the temple guard kind of in here. There's really no rhyme or reason to why I'm doing this this way. Just make it look kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. And then Gorok, I should get Vanguard deployment for him because that would be pretty cool. So this is not really the siege cheese. Because I could just pull all these guys back a bit. And then have... Alright, so they have posted up all over there, which is funny. So they've got some guys here. Like have Gorok climb up the walls. I could have him start trying to break down the wall, the gate, but the goal is to take this capture point. Come on, Gorok! Faster, faster! I also should have put healing on him, but he's too far away now, so. Look it. Oh man, he's so mummified. Mummified. Why'd you have to put up so many ladders, Gorak? It's just you, man. <laughs> There's nobody else! Sure, take your time. He's gotta look cool while he goes up. Do they have momentum, or is that... Keep pushing. The settlement will soon be ours. We haven't even done anything yet. Alright, let's see. They've got the Screamers. Yeah, Screamers. Oh, they're coming into Gorok, are they? So we captured a victory point. Oh, he did make it down the other side, I suppose. Alright, so. Let's do... And then we'll throw the shield on him. Have him just tank a little bit. Throw a spell down, see if we can take out these units. Eh, didn't do as much as I was hoping for. Let's have you come in here, Gorok, if you can. Throw a fireball at the... Alright, this... I... I totally read this as the anus lord. But... Oops. Can you move, Gorok? Come on, man! So the benefit here is that I feel like this might kill their own units. That's the goal, at least. Fort wall indestructible. I'll just bring Croc over here. Croak. Croak! So they've got a tower. That's the other thing that probably isn't going to be great about this is that I'm giving them time to build up all these towers. Which, you know what. It, whatever. We don't have to worry about that in mortal empires. So that's why the siege cheese doesn't work in immortal empires as much. Yeah, it doesn't do as much damage to them, which is stupid. Well, like I said, I hope that this is... Oh, this is so funny. He's regenerating. Well, I guess he's taking some damage, but... I guess I could speed this up a little bit. Alright, can I open the gate? I 
I open the doors? How do I get this under my control? Do I have to have like more than just Gorok? Oh, this was under my control. Or it was starting to become under my control. Now it's going down. What do I need to do? I, I don't fight many sieges, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Oh, now we got some more people coming. Okay. Now it's going up. Whoops. It's really not going to do anything. Kaboomski. That took down some of their health, I guess. Come at me, bros. Oh, now it's going down. We gotta change that. We gotta change that, Mazda Mundi. Hopefully, this will take out these little guys more. Let's get in for a close up. And that, friends, is when I would be running away. Not the Forsaken of Zinch. They're the arm. Oh, no, they're not the armor piercing guys. Gorak's better health than he was when he started. He's in perfect shape. I really, I know this will take forever, but I really want to see Gorok. I really want to see Gorok, uh, like, single-handedly take on this. So maybe I can speed it up a little bit. Okay, we've captured this victory point. Let's take on these guys. Mark's taking a little bit of damage, but... I want them to shatter. I'm not going to be able to catch up to them. So, let's go to this victory point where all these guys are. The only problem is that Mazda Mundi is not coming in with me now. Maybe I better... Maybe I should bring Gorok up here. How long will it take Mazda Mundi to get over here? Forever? Fear me. Oops. I'll bring my whole army over. Why not? Meanwhile, Gorok's just doing his thing. that winds of magic. So many winds of magic. Seriously though, like they're killing their own guys with these towers. <laughs> they just annihilated their own unit.
Oh, these guys are... Well, you know, that was anticlimactic, but I won with minimal casualties. Did not take the medium casualties that they said I would, so... I don't know if there's any reason to advance. And honestly, Gorok started off with more health than he had at the beginning, so... Oh, look, these guys chipped in. 81 damage, but... 15,000, 17,000. Like I said, these two in an army just with themselves is all you need, really. The other guys are just backup. In case. You've got your ultra tank and you've got your ultra DPS. And we now have the settlement. Maybe. Someday. Okay, got it. We shall... I probably should not loot and occupy because control down here is already going to be terrible. And it stinks because I'm not going to be able to give this to Tenowin. Unless he takes the Fate Weaver's crevasse. So it's still improving with Mazda Mundi, but I'm just... I can't even balance it. Okay, Gorok, what to give you? Saurus units. No. No. Sacred Guardians. So this would help my Temple Guard. So I really need to worry about the Proud Warriors, the Temple Guard, and the Stegadons. Let's go with the Stegadons. Beef up my artillery a little bit. I just did this. Stop that, Sarah. Stop it. All right, Hydroxy and Thraparin. Oh, you already went. Poop. All right, well, we'll just do another turn. Looks like Lokir has been doing well. So that's going to be a fun challenge. I wonder if I should land and try to take him on. I don't want to meet him out on the water because that's his whole thing is black arcs. Can I not get on the land from there? Let me watch me pick a fight and then not be able to follow up on that. I'm assuming Nakai is at war with them. Yeah. So now Tic-Tac-Toe is more apt to not aggress with me than Mazda Mundi, which is super annoying. Oh, here's Kairos. Now is not the time. Ooh, he just took out Tenowin, didn't he? Yikes. So let's camp. Hmm. See if we can do a part two. Can I build anything? Ooh, more income here would be helpful. Don't have enough there. I guess I'll put money into the growth. How's the web doing? Ooh, it's green at Itza. 
So Itza does not need growth anymore. What am I thinking? What should I do here? Research rate. <sighs> Diplomatic relations. Diplomatic relations. Let's do that one because then maybe they'll confederate with me more. I never even thought about doing that. Man, Mazda Mundi is so much more powerful than I am. At least that's what it said up there. I don't know. I'll have to check the actual rankings to see what rank he's at. Should have taken this guy out while he was at war with me. Should I go to war with Lokir? Should I ask somebody if they'll give me money to go to war with Lokir? Not you. If I join war against the Blessed Dread. Defensive alliance? And some money? Or money and then the defensive alliance will come later. Let's do that. Watch me not even be able to take on the garrison. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I may have made a mistake, folks. That's a shade stack. That's not going to end well for me. <laughs> Alright, Kairos is scared. He's got a lot of armies stacked up here. Alright, let's put walls here and income. That'll help a little bit. Let's... Oh, I can't do that right now. Shoot. I don't have the money for it. Heroic victory with medium casualties. So, I know you guys were telling me to fight manual battles to get better. But, like, this one, I don't know, man. Didn't do so hot last time. Granted, he doesn't have as many ranged units now. Except the exalted flamer. Ugh. All right, what I'll do, I'll concede this. I'm going to end it here. I'll do a little quick save action. I'll think about if I want to fight this or not. I'll think about it. Chances are I'll probably auto-resolve, but I'll think about it. Or I could try to fight it, but Kairos is level 40. I'm only level 28, so, like, uh, his spells are going to get me real bad, so... I just noticed, does he have eyeballs on the end of his tongue? That's disgusting. Anyway, I'm going to leave it off here. Like I said, I'll probably auto-resolve it. I guess I could try to fight it just to see how it goes, but the last time it didn't go well, so we'll see. But anyway, hope you guys are enjoying this one. I'm still having a ball and can't wait to see what the future holds, so I hope that you guys will come back and join me in the next one.